I'm gonna share with you today how I became a millionaire. Look, my name's Colton Lindsay, financially free by the age of 32. I can tell you there are seven simple steps in which I made that happen. And I did it really, really, really quickly. First was literacy. I had to go get educated on how the, the game of money works. And there's inner world rules of money, which is my internal space, my psychology of wealth. And then there's outer world rules of money. That's like business and investing. So I got educated and I learned the process of manifestation. Number two is I hedged against myself. This is called OptiMax protection. It's 100% guarantee that I'm gonna die one day and I wanna bet that I'm gonna win that bet. Meaning when I die, I want my estate to make millions and millions of dollars. It's called a guaranteed whole life insurance policy and I can use it while I'm alive as a giant savings account that creates what's called a single digit return on investment. Now that's not the idea that's gonna make me super rich, but it's what I can do with that money in becoming my own bank and creating arbitrage. Arbitrage is the difference of borrowing money from this system, this tool, what's called guaranteed whole life, and going buying another project, investing in another way, and I make an infinite return on that investment. Also though, I know that some really bad things could happen in my life, like an automobile accident or something with my health. So I wanna insure against the worst possible scenario so that I can cover that. The third is one of the most important, and I can tell you this was key for me along the way, and it's called cash flow management. Two great books is Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Hard will teach you exactly how to manage your cash and how to think differently about money. And then the other book is Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. Well, he'll give you a very basic system to manage your money in your business to create profit. But if I can't appreciate a dollar, I'll never appreciate a million bucks. If I can't manage one dollar, I'll never be able to manage millions of dollars. So cash flow management and having a system in place and the know-how which to do it is so key. Number four is having your entity set up properly. No one got really, really, really rich by having it all in their own personal name. They own businesses, LLCs, they file as S-Corps, they have a corporate book, they have an estate plan, they have trusts and wills in place, and that's the fourth step, is to set up your entity and structure of wealth. Step number five is optimize your tax-free wealth plan so you can reduce your tax bill and what you're paying to the government that is horrible spending, and you can take that difference and you can spend it the way you choose Ideally, spend it into making more money. Step number six is called asset creation, allocation, and management. You've got to move your profit from your cash flow system, having your entity set up straight, and maximizing your tax returns so that you can buy assets. And the asset puts money into your pocket over and over again. An investment is simply a lump sum payment for a future income. Now, here's the key when it comes to investing. You wanna make sure that you have single digit, double digit, triple digit, quadruple digit, and infinite digit rate of return, where your money, it works hard for you and makes you more and more money. All at the same time is not losing money through asymmetrical risk loss reward. So if I'm going to invest in a project and I'm gonna be wrong, which happens a lot 75% of the time, I can't lose very much money or none at all. But if I'm right, I gotta make a big upside. And part of investing, I need 15, I say 15 uncorrelated assets. It reduces my risk of loss with this ability by over 80%. I reduce losing money by 80% by having 15 different assets. And then finally, I gotta make sure I'm getting assets that pay me residually over and over and over again. And then the seventh step, to getting really, really rich and how I became a millionaire is only step number seven. Did I start spending money on my big dreams? A primary residence overlooking the lake while having a secondary residence on a golf course, flying private, having Gucci shoes, having nice vehicles, skiing four, five, six days a week, going to Africa, going on and staying in the penthouse suite, investing or, or buying and spending money on really, really nice Airbnbs. 
It was only once I did the previous six steps, the number seven, that my dream spending got bigger and bigger and bigger. Where I see a mistake is most people, they want the Gucci shoes on step one, and instead of investing in proximity and education and learning how to become better with their money and spending 800 bucks on that, they spend 800 bucks on Gucci shoes. So these are the seven steps that I use to become a millionaire and you can use them too. If you like this, click that like button and share it to your friends. Comment down below. I want to see what your thoughts are on how I became a multimillionaire. We'll see you soon.